Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and today I'm out in the factory uh, warming it up out here. It's kind of slow because it's only three degrees outside, but uh, if I sit here long enough, it'll warm up. And it's just as well because the only thing I'm going to do today is build lids. And Susan doing dishes right now, and I'm just giving her time to finish that up before she comes out to help me. Uh, so I wanted to do a little thing here today and explain to you some of the problems I run into uh, with customers. Uh, it's just maybe this will give you some insight on how to make my job a little easier. I got an email this morning from a gentleman named John. Lives in Canada. Said he placed an order uh, on the 7th and wanted to know if it had been shipped and if it had when he could expect to get it. Okay, so all they got to go by is the guy's name. I don't have any order number. I have the date he ordered it. So I go to PayPal and look on that date, and there's an order there, but it's not for John. Last name the same, first name's different. I think, okay, probably his wife. Kind of wish he told me that it was paid for in his wife's name. Would have helped, but anyway, this happens a lot. So then I went back to the website, typed in the last name, and John and Rachel came up. We both had an order on the same day, and they were basically for the same thing, except John's order had a bottle in it, and Rachel's didn't, but it was for the same stove and the same pot stand. So I went from there and checked, and the address was the same for both of them. But in PayPal, there was only one payment, and here it showed two, two people had ordered. So I went from there to tracking orders and put in, got the two order numbers and put them in. They were, they were 69 and 70. Put in 69 no order exists. So evidently, I'm thinking, they went through, she went through the order process right up to the point of paying for it and changed her mind, didn't pay for it, but got far enough into the process so it registered as an order. Kind of. Then she went back, ordered everything again, added an 8-ounce bottle, and this time checked out and paid for it. And it showed in PayPal that she had paid for it. But and also, and although the order was in John's name, the payment was in Rachel's name. So, and it was a foreign order. So, I probably sent him the wrong tracking information the first time because it was just so mixed up. So I finally went right back to my journal, started thumbing through, found the international order to Canada, the stub, and it had Rachel's name on it, and it said it was shipped the 10th, and everything looked right, so I photographed that and sent that to him. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that this time I'm right. Had he emailed me and told me I placed an order on the 7th, order number four digits giving me the order number and say that it was paid for, for in his wife's name would have been no problem at all but when you order something in your name and pay for it in somebody else's name and you order twice and one order it, it gets it, it makes it extremely difficult for me to track this down sometimes it's really easy but especially on international orders, it can get, especially if somebody does that. I've had people, uh, let me see if I can get this right. I've had people order with one name, have their shipping address, another name, and pay, pay in PayPal with another name. And that's, that's real tough. You've got nothing to correlate anything by, and it's basically a shot in the dark to get them their tracking information. If it's international. Yeah. 
So anyway, uh, John, <laughs> I shipped you order the 10th. <laughs> Should have it in a few days. Uh, disregard everything else I sent you. <laughs> Uh, it's good money, but boy, sometimes it can be a, an awful headache because it just uh, just gets complicated. So, uh, we took uh, Sam and Zeke to the veterinary yesterday and got all those shots and stuff. That was 200 bucks. <laughs> Learned a lot that we changed vets. Uh, and the reason why we changed veterinaries is two reasons. One is the one we were going to was like 18 miles away. And it was a long ride for the cats. They get pretty uncomfortable in those cat carries on an 18 mile ride. Uh, the new vet is only six miles away. The old vet the building inside the carpets are bad. The walls are dark paneling. When you walk in it's like walking into a cave. The receptionist is not pleasant. An older lady uh, doesn't seem to have a, a good grasp on how things are supposed to work. Uh, the veterinary is, what's the correct word? CD. It's kind of CD. And the uh, inspection room where he does the work is, you know, chipped for mica countertops and rug with holes worn in it and the whole place kind of smelled a little bit of I can't even identify it but we weren't comfortable there and then I had talked to people and heard some rather alarming stories that would explain some stuff that had happened in the past so anyway uh, this new veterinary clinic is new state of the art everything is nice and light colored and clean and everybody is well dressed, well groomed, well spoken. You know, everybody knows what they're doing, and they they brought us right up to date on everything. Filled us in on a lot of stuff that the other veterinary had failed to mention. Uh, and we got everything taken right care of and straightened right out, and got right up to date. And it's only six miles away, uh, so um, I feel a lot better about that because these cats are real important to me and I want them to have the best of care. So anyway, uh, that's my little story for today. Uh, Sue will be out in a little while and we'll start building lids. Until then, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design. Try to have a really great day and try to have some fun today. You deserve it. Bye-bye. Double shot time. It's uh, about 9.30. Time for a double shot. And then we got to get back to uh, making more lids. Uh, in the process, I rebuilt my dies and they're working out real well. Uh, Sue needed something to stand on to get the right elevation for running the shear. Uh, I needed something about four inches high, so uh, what I did was, I had this e-machine e -machine, uh, computer that's been under the bench for a while, the program's bad on it, and, and I'm glad to be able to use it again and, and get some use out of it, because I think right now it's probably more useful than it was uh, when I was actually running it uh, on a machine. It had Vista on it. Cool beans.